so build update part two i hope the sun's not glaring it up but i'm back up here with david surprise surprise again uh we're back up at finishing touch before i show you the maverick um i'll let david talk about a little bit he's the as we stated in the video he's the the owner of the shop owner operator and we'll go back and talk to taylor i can't pronounce his last name Kazianso. okay yeah that. <laughs> okay uh we'll go back there and talk to him about the materials uh, and how easy it was to work with and I'll drop some links below of Where I got the material from who designed it and you know how you can get your own you know, Your own designs. You don't have to get just this so Put the camera on David for a minute and let him talk if he's got anything to say well, I, don't, I don't know what I, how much I have to say the, the kit is very well done. I mean Taylor's been doing vinyl for 10 years The vinyls quality he's he enjoys working with it the kit was pretty straightforward other than the aftermarket doors that we had to kind of modify a little bit it, it went on pretty good it's a lot of pieces it was a lot of fun it's the best way to put it so here it is i had the uh the design custom we talked about it uh back and forth brett uh, uh i'm hoping i pronounce his last name right humphreys uh, really super easy cool dude to work with uh, communication was great um, gave him a vision of the design and what I wanted um, obviously I couldn't put it on paper that was what he was for so talking back and forth a couple designs and then we came up with this it's really it's really sweet um, like I said I'll put some links below and you can communicate with him he'll give you all the fine details of why you should do something like this, uh, what type of protection you should have on your plastics. The material itself is actually pretty thick uh, to protect plastics, but at the same time, you know, you can have cool graphics, cool designs, um, easy to replace a piece if it comes apart, uh, keeps, your, keeps your plastics from getting scratched up and damaged too much. So, here it is. Now, if you know me personally, you know I'm not going to leave something just plain and normal. I've got to give it some pizzazz. So, nothing better than the Eagle. And it's red, white, and blue. with full yeet. So, I hope you guys like it. Um, not really much more that I can talk about and tell you. I just want to show you. Build update number two. Number three will have coming soon. Try to get everything knocked out and get this thing ripping on the trails right after Christmas. So right now, let's go down and talk to Taylor. All right, here we are with Taylor. Still can't pronounce his last name, but he is the gentleman that installed the wrap for me. So give us uh, uh, what, what to expect when installing this if one was to DIY or bring it to an installer somebody that's maybe not installed it before yeah yeah for sure man so the material itself is awesome quality the print quality the colors install wise it was easy to install um, if you have a little bit of vinyl background it'll definitely help you on installing it you know I think that if you're a knowledgeable DIYer you could definitely handle it yourself you know, but honestly, any reputable wrap shop will definitely be able to take care of it for you. Um, fitment, obviously, it's a sticker install kit. It's not going to be perfect on fitment and body lines. Um, we did have to do a little modifying because um, you decided to do some a little bit aftermarket doors. So we decided to wrap around the door handles. You know, that's kind of a, an installer type thing, you know, if you're doing vinyl. So but other than that, you know, the, the quality is awesome. The print quality is even better, you know, and the colors are so vibrant. You know, I think that uh, I think it's a really good material all around. So, but you know, other than that, you know, I think that uh, I think that if you were a, you know, like I said, if you're a DIYer, you know, give yourself a couple days, you know, and then go at it. You know, I try and clean it with denatured alcohol just to prep the surfaces, make sure there's nothing on it. Obviously, you made it a little easier for me being brand new. You know, it hasn't even seen any dirt yet, so. Um, yeah, most, most definitely. I would agree that if you're going to put something on here, do it while it's clean. Yeah, 
yeah, that's ideal, man. If you're if you're planning on getting something, buy it and then try and buy the decals at the same time. Just because, obviously, like you saw, you know, the install. It, it, if, if it's dirty or you know you got rocks that's been up in it, you know, it's just even going to make it a little easier, a little more difficult to install it. Right. And the outcome might not be as good. You know what I'm saying? So, but you know, other than that, man, this thing is pretty awesome. So yeah, it's, I, it I'm stands out fan, from a distance. So heck yeah. All right. Well, I appreciate you guys' help. Um, I will drop a link below to Finishing Touch. Uh, they are local here in Maryville, Tennessee. Yeah. I was looking last night. You guys don't have a website up yet, do you? Not a .com, no. no. It's no. on Facebook and Instagram. No. Yeah, check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Facebook, sure. Instagram. I will drop their links down in the description below. Uh, wraps, detailing, a whole nine works. Check them out. I'm not going to tell you. You got to go look for yourself. But anyways, here we are. I'm out. I'm going to go finish this build and try to get this thing up and ripping. I want to be out in Christmas. Climb something, break something, bounce off something. Snow. Heck oh, man. man, it is supposed to snow. <laughs> but it's all right. Yeah. We'll send it, so. Full send, always, yeah. man. Awesome, brother. Well, we all appreciate right. you. So thanks for coming out. Thanks, bud. You know, our pleasure. Easy guys to work with. But until next time, peace out.